So church was really awesome last night, and I hope that um, everyone I know can make the decision to go to church one night. Just go to church. It will impact your life. And um, what I do before I walk into church is I ask God to send me the lesson I need. Please send this to me. You know what's going on with me. You know what I'm slacking on. You know you know what I need. Give it to me, please. So um, last night I got the lesson I needed, and it helped me um, figure out the problem I've been having. And, you know, I, I learned last night that I need to just give it to God. Everything that I'm dealing with, all the anxiety, the fear, the insecurities, the trust issues, everything that I have, I need to give to God. And He will heal me. He can. He has the power to heal me. And uh, His world gave me those. The world gave me the insecurities and the trust issues and the fear. We weren't born with that. Um, We allowed things that happened to us to give us that. And we learned in church last night that when you have a wound and you leave it without healing, it will get infected. And, you know, I got wounded a long time ago and I never healed it. I never put medication on it. I never dealt with it. And it infected my entire self. It infected everything in me. You know, I I have all these mental issues now in myself and it's because I didn't deal with it. So you wait so long, just like she said last night, you're going to have to amputate something huge in your life so definitely anything that is holding you down that is giving you fear insecurities trust issues anything that gives you pain that you still hold on to one day you have to sit down and you have to give it to God and you have to face it and you have to realize that if you don't start healing it now it is going to impact your life and it's going to hurt you more than more than the pain did in the beginning the aftermath is going to hurt you and so I just challenge you today to face what is holding you down whatever breakup you went through what whatever abuse you went through whatever rape you went through whatever lying you went through whoever lied to you whoever hurt you in any way cussed you out any family member that abused you when you were younger anything that is holding you down I challenge you to give it to God and I challenge you to face it today and start living free and that's what it's called living free and last night I'm telling you it hit me and it was it was awesome and I feel 80% freer today than I did yesterday. It's going to take more than a day to let go of a lot of things and heal. But I feel, like I said, 80% better. And because I finally, I finally gave it back to him. I said, here, I, I need you. You know, I need you to heal me from this. Because he gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And he knew I could deal with it. And he, and that's why he's bringing me back to the church. Cause like, okay, it's time to heal. It's time to let go. You know, you, you dealt with it. You were my soldier. You held strong to me. Even though I put you through that, you didn't, def- you didn't deny me here. I, we need, it's time to heal. So it's awesome. I hope you go to church. Um, one of these days, challenge yourself to go to church. It's awesome. And, um, challenge yourself to be out of the ordinary. You know, God is great. God is good. Um, start worshiping God and stop worshiping drinking marijuana all these drugs out there trying to look good trying to be the sluttiest girl in Polk County trying to you know impress everybody trying to have the longest hair the sexiest body whatever you're trying to do stop drawing your eyebrows on you're beautiful bottom line you're beautiful you know so all the makeup I know a lot of people it's makeup artist stuff but like I said you're just you're beautiful and it's time to start impressing God and stop living in this world stop letting this world influence you in the wrong way it's changing you and you don't even realize it so that's it for today